I'm really excited today because to assist us with our tutorial, we've got a very special guest. His name's Kung Fu. Kung Fu. His name's Kung Fu. Now Kung Fu's gonna demonstrate how to snap a piece of wood on one's head. <clears throat> Just joking, it's airbrushed. So today I'm going to teach you how to create wood as an airbrush texture. And we're going to go ahead and mask out a panel of wood with this very light adhesive masking tape. Doesn't have to be perfect, so I'm doing it on a piece of paper. So I'm going to add a little bit of Createx opaque yellow into my happy little colour cup here. Add a couple of drops of red to get a nice orange. And I'll also try to add half a drop of blue. We're just going to go in with this joyful little thing and flat tone this whole wood panel. Now to that original orange that you mixed up, I want you to go ahead and add a couple of drops of red and then a couple more drops of blue. And here's the colour that we've got. A middle brown colour. Now I've got this middle brown colour in my airbrush, but another thing I've got with me now is a moist kitchen sponge. Yeah. We're going to do the splatter effect with this mid-brown all over the wood panel and immediately I'm going to go over with the sponge and give it a couple of quick wipes down. Wipe it all in the same direction. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pour a little bit of this middle brown colour onto a piece of plastic. Oh, I don't have much. And I'm going to get a bit on my sponge here. So I'll just grab a bit on the end of my sponge. Now I'm going to be very light and start from the end of the wood and wipe down. All in one direction. Now while I've still got some of that brown in the airbrush, I'm going to go in and where I see some of the darkest streaks of grain, I'll add a couple of my own little airbrush strokes. These are just dagger strokes. All you're doing is trying to mimic the natural lines that you've already created in your wood. Now to that middle brown colour that we mixed up, I'm going to add yet again another couple of drops of red and then a few more drops of blue, but no more yellow. You are not allowed to go in with a darker brown colour on any of the orange areas. You can only go in to the darkest bits of the middle brown colour. Just going to use another bit of masking tape and mask around two millimetres from the inside edge of this other bit of masking tape. And repeat the same for the other sides. Uh oh, ran out of colour. Yeah, it looks good, but doesn't quite look complete. What's something else we could add? That's right, a drop shadow. So let's take a closer look. And that's how to do a cool wood texture. Don't forget to spread the love. Spread the love! <laughs>